So what's good, TMG fam? It's your boy Ellen. I'm back with another reaction. How y'all feel? Welcome back to the channel. Salute. All right, so it's another video, new video out on the James Webb. I don't even know how I missed this one that it came out and I didn't see it pop up or give me the alert. So don't worry, y'all ain't the only ones that have those problems of alerts not coming when videos drop. Uh, y'all hit me up all the time about not getting alert about my video. I don't know what happens. I don't know. I, I don't know. I don't get them either. But I just happened to run across this one. I was like, oh, got a new video for the James Webb. So we got to check it out. This one here is the James Webb telescope discovered an object older than the Big Bang. All right. So we're going to check this one out. If you're new to the channel, man, hit that subscribe button, join the fam and uh, prepare yourself. What caused the cosmos to exist? According to popular belief, everything began with the Big Bang. In a nutshell, the theory proposes that everything, everywhere, suddenly burst to life. The catch is that everything and everything prior to the Big Bang is difficult to grasp. The Big Bang theory is the best model we presently have for the beginning of our universe. Astrophysicists have demonstrated that the hypothesis adequately describes phenomena observed in space over decades, such as lingering. They said it's the best one we have for a while. It was the only one I ever knew about. Like I, I felt like I was programmed and somebody had to unplug me out the matrix. Like I only knew of the Big Bang, the Big Bang, the Big Bang. Background radiation and elemental abundances. It's a solid framework that provides us a good picture of how the universe came to be 13.7 billion years ago. Mm. However, with the recent surge of preprint papers and popular science articles about the first images from the James Webb Space Telescope, old incorrect assertions that the Big Bang never happened at all have been circulating on social media and in the news. <laughs> According to one expert, the JWST images are causing panic among cosmologists. Or I mean, we had to know this was gonna happen, bro. Each time we send something out there that's that's equipped to get better information and clearer data, it's gonna happen. And then you know, once the internet gets a hold to it, it's just gonna go crazy. And you know, if the internet says it's true, then it's gotta be true, right? <laughs> nah, man, but we had to know this is gonna, and it's gonna continuously happen. To one expert, the JWST images are causing panic among cosmologists or those who research the beginnings of the universe. Stay with us until the end to find out if this is real or not. Georges Lemaitre, an astronomer, had a big idea in 1927. He hmm. said that the universe began as a single point a very long time ago. He said oh. that the universe stretched and expanded to become as large as it is now and that it may continue to stretch. Only two years later, an astronomer called Edwin Hubble observed other galaxies heading away from us. Not only that, but the galaxies farthest away were moving faster than those closer to us. This meant that, as Lemaitre predicted, the universe was still expanding. If things were drifting apart, it signified that not so long ago, everything was closer together. Mm -hmm. The Big Bang, contrary to popular belief, was not an explosion in space. According to scholars, it was the manifestation of space everywhere in the universe. According to the Big Bang theory, the universe started as a single, extremely hot and dense point in space. Cosmologists are unsure what happened before this point, but scientists have been striving to paint a clearer image of the early universe and its development with sophisticated space missions, ground-based observatories, and complex computations. But what they're making it sound like is like an, a star would explode. That's what it's making it sound like. Like we were once maybe some, you know, something similar to that and boom, then we have everything everywhere sophisticated space missions, ground-based observatories, and complex computations. A significant contribution comes from measurements of the cosmic microwave background, which contains the afterglow of light and radiation left over after the Big Bang. This Big Bang relic pervades the universe and can be seen using microwave detectors, allowing scientists to piece together information about the early universe. NASA launched the Wilkinson Microwave Anisotropy Probe WMAP, mission in 2001 to examine the early universe's characteristics by monitoring radiation from the cosmic microwave background. Among other discoveries, WMAP was able to establish the age of the universe, roughly 13.7 billion years old. Wow. When the cosmos was very young, say something like a hundredth of a billionth of a trillionth of a trillionth of a second, phew. It wait, 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 what? 
<laughs> you know what I mean? Sometimes these videos remind me that I don't know as much as I should know. You know what I mean? Like, what did he just say? Roughly 13.7 billion years old. When the cosmos was very young, say something like a hundredth of a billionth of a trillionth of a trillionth of a second, phew, it underwent an incredible growth spurt. During this period of exponential expansion, termed as inflation, the universe doubled in size at least 90 times. Within the first three minutes of the universe's birth, light chemical elements were formed. Temperatures decreased as the universe expanded, and protons and neutrons collided to form deuterium, a hydrogen isotope. Much of this deuterium combined to form helium. However, for the first 380,000 years following the Big Bang, the immense heat from the universe's birth rendered it impossible for light to shine. Atoms collided with such force that they shattered into a thick, opaque plasma of protons, neutrons and electrons that dispersed light like fog. Then the universe began to emerge from its dark ages, some 400 million years after the Big Bang. Mm -hmm. This period in the universe's evolution is called the Age of Reionization. This dynamic phase was assumed to have lasted more than half a billion years. But fresh findings suggest that reionization occurred faster than previously thought. During this period, clumps of gas condensed sufficiently to form the first stars and galaxies. The ultraviolet light emitted by these powerful events cleaned out and destroyed the vast majority of the surrounding neutral hydrogen gas. For the first time, the universe became transparent to ultraviolet light due to the process of reionization as well as the clearing of murky hydrogen gas. Astronomers scour the universe for the most distant and ancient galaxies in order to better comprehend the properties of the early universe. Similarly, by studying the cosmic microwave background, astronomers can work backwards to piece together the events that came before. However, fresh findings from the James Webb Telescope are questioning our assumptions. Hmm. Whatever the Webb Telescope has found in the distant universe absolutely refutes our early universe model. Telescopes allow us to see very far away objects as well as light that was emitted a long time ago, which is similar to looking back in time. The story of the universe and its galaxies is similar to those of other stories. You lose a lot of insight if you skip the beginning. Seeing the light of the early galaxies provides a more perfect overview of galactic evolution. NASA's James Webb Space Telescope was built specifically to detect the old stretched light from the earliest galaxies. Webb will fill in the blanks in the galactic history slideshow by digging deeper into the cosmos, providing crucial insight into some of our most pressing questions. How does the universe function and how do we arrive here? Every day, NASA's James Webb Space Telescope makes surprising discoveries, bridging gaps in our galaxy's past with its astounding discoveries. Scientists expected to witness horribly mangled galaxies jumbled by many collisions or mergers because our early universe model anticipated that tiny galaxies grow up into present day giant galaxies by colliding with each other. And if we, we hadn't expanded yet and we were still so close together and all of that, then I, I could definitely understand why he would figure or why they would figure the galaxies possibly would collide, you know what I mean, crash into each other and then see what happens from that but the fact that we're expanding now and they're everywhere that didn't happen so i don't know man like jumbled by many collisions or mergers because our early universe let me go back he's passed with its astounding discoveries scientists expected to witness horribly mangled galaxies jumbled by many collisions or mergers right. because our early universe model anticipated that tiny galaxies grow up into present day giant galaxies by colliding with each other but what Webb Telescope discovered surprised everyone. The Big Bang concept formally denied that we may observe large and well-structured galaxies in the early universe. However, recent images from the Webb Telescope showed massive galaxies with stunning smooth disks and precise spiral shapes, exactly as we find in today's galaxies. Additionally, one of the most far-off galaxy candidates in the early universe that was found by Webb Telescope named as Sears 93316. With an estimated redshift of 16.7, Sears 93316 is a possible high redshift galaxy that was born 235 million years after the Big Bang. However, the brightness and size of this potential distant galaxy is what really set it apart. According to our current model, it is extremely difficult to produce such exceptionally bright and massive galaxies barely 200 million years after the Big Bang. 
In a recent publication, astronomers claim to have discovered two huge galaxies with stellar masses 10 to the power of 11 times the mass of the Sun at a redshift of 10. That's massive, bro. 10 times the... Whew. Stellar masses 10 to the power of 11 times the mass of the Sun at a redshift of 10 from the initial JWST images. The I didn't think the galaxies were that size, bro. I know they were big, but when you put it in that type of perspective, bro, that's just, that's insane. Mass of the Sun at a redshift of 10 from the initial JWST images. This indicates that 500 million years after the Big Bang, these enormous galaxies were mostly formed. Although our current model fully rejects the possibility that huge galaxies may be found at redshift as high as 18, or just 175 million years after the Big Bang. Given the presence of these galaxies at redshift 10, it does not rule out the possibility. Just 150 million years after the Big Bang, the birth of such huge galaxies is not anticipated by our present galaxy evolution model. The author also stated that the new images demonstrate that there are at least 100,000 times more galaxies than theorists projected at redshift greater than 10. No way could so many massive galaxies have been created in such a short period of time. The earliest stars are supposed to have formed 100 million years after the Big Bang, but recent discoveries from the Webb telescope are refuting this theory. The JWST uses a variety of filters to capture images in the infrared region of the spectrum so it can see colours of distant galaxies. Because young hot stars are blue in colour, and older, cooler stars like our Sun are yellow or red in colour, this allows astronomers to estimate the age of the stars in these galaxies. Oh, okay. The furthest galaxies in the JWST images are viewed as they were just 400 to 500 million years after the beginning of the universe, according to the Big Bang Theory. However, something odd was discovered by scientists. How is it possible that these galaxies contain star populations that are more than a billion years old, since nothing could have formed prior to the Big Bang? Are we utterly mistaken about the early universe? The new JWST images... See, I love it when the James Webb go up there and disrupt everything, shatters all those old theories, bro. I love that. You know what I'm saying? Everything that we thought it's coming into question, and that's fine. We just have to be okay with that, you know? And as scientists, they're professionals. I only talk about us. Scientists are professionals. I'm pretty sure they're okay with going back to the drawing board and scrapping those theories that was there before. It's not set in stone, you know what I mean? It's not law. So that's, that's cool. I'm cool with that. ...of the cosmos are stunningly breathtaking to everyone who sees them, but they also come as a huge surprise to the majority of cosmologists and professional astronomers because they defy theory in every way. Since July 12, a deluge of technical Good. astronomical publications has been released online. In these papers, the authors repeatedly note that the images reveal a very large number of galaxies, as well as galaxies that are unusually smooth, small and old. There are many surprises, not all of them good, one paper's title starts off with the direct cry of panic. It is not difficult to understand why these too small, too smooth, too old and too numerous galaxies are incompatible with the Big Bang Theory. Smaller and smaller is exactly what the JWST images show. Even galaxies with more luminosity and mass than our own Milky Way galaxy seem two to three times smaller in these images than in identical Hubble Space Telescope images and the new galaxies have red shifts that are two to three times greater. Some scientists believe that the expanding universe theory is also incorrect. They mm. claim that the non-expanding cosmos is backing all of the James Webb telescope discoveries to some extent. Although we didn't usually hear of it, there's been a dissatisfaction with the standard model which begins with the Big Bang ever since it was first proposed by Georges Lemaitre nearly a century ago. But no one expected the James Webb Space Telescope to contribute to the debate. What are your thoughts? Was there a Big Bang or not? And is there anything older than it? Tell us in the comments. I guess the only reason I smile because it, it's, it's the ones, it's not everybody, but it's just the ones that, oh, you, it's no way. The, it, it's the Big Bang. Like they hold on to those theories like they're law, man, and they don't let them go. No, bro. That's why we keep coming up with things to go back and double check or, you know what I mean? get up there and find out whether or not those theories are right or wrong. And that's what the James Webb was supposed to do. And it's doing that, bro. It's shattering those theories. You know what I mean? Or at least 
making us go back and revisit some of the information we have and that from the past. And you can't blame the people from the past because they didn't have all the technology that we have developed now. You know what I mean? So they worked with what they had to develop the theories that they had. So you have to respect that. So I, like I said, man, that that's that's crazy. That's crazy. 10 times the size of the... I think we're just getting started as far as the the massive size of things that we're going to discover. I think we're just getting started. My bad. I always forget about that that uh, stock market bill. My bad, y'all. <laughs> but I think we're just getting started as far as discovering the size of things, man. Wait. Just wait. Just wait. And that just wait to me keeps me excited and fascinated to wake up each day and check my phone to see what new alerts or what new has come out or information we have gathered. You know what I'm saying? So y'all get at me in the comment section, bro. Let me know what you thought of this video. The James Webb telescope discovered an object older than the big bang theory. All right. It's your boy. Until the next reaction, I'm gone. Peace.